More than a century after the discovery of the cell nucleus, it was believed there were two fundamental types of life on Earth, bacteria and everything else. Bacteria were classified as prokaryotes. These were simple, single-celled organisms with their DNA contained not within a nucleus, but by the cell wall. All other life forms were classified as eukaryotes. Their cells carried their DNA enclosed within the nucleus. But this simple classification system was in for a shock. In 1977, biologist Carl Woese was studying the genetic makeup of a methane-producing microbe when he realized it was different from any known bacterium. Its cell wall was unique. It produced unusual enzymes. And its genetic sequence was unlike anything he'd ever seen. It became soon apparent within the, within the scope of the space of an hour that there was, there was something, a third thing out there. This was the moment of discovery. Carl Woese had found a third form of life, a group of single-celled organisms that he called archaea. We used to think there were two primary kingdoms on this planet. Now we know there are three. That was the shift, big shift, because all of microbiology had been structured around the idea that all bacteria are fundamentally the same, not in their details, but in their essence, their ancestry and their basic cell organization. Here is something that every microbiologist and biologist firmly believed in, and it wasn't true. <laughs> so it does make you smile, doesn't it? Yeah, look what I found. <laughs> what he found was a life form able to live anywhere on the planet including the most extreme environments. Some archaea even call this home, hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor. Temperatures here fluctuate wildly within just a few inches, going from freezing to a scorching 760 degrees Fahrenheit. Archaea have also been found living miles inside the earth, thriving in lakes of acid where even iron minerals dissolve. Today, some biologists believe that archaea are the common ancestor from which eukaryotes evolved, and that includes you and me. For Carl Woese, the discovery of archaea remains a sweet memory. It was picked up when published by the New York Times first and the other newspapers, and then the TV came in, and, and I can remember walking outside of my house one night saying, when all this was happening, say, tonight, the world belongs to you.